Yeah, yesterday we have discussed uh, up to HQL queries, right? Uh, so today we are going to discuss uh, named SQL queries. Uh, okay, what is mean by named queries or named SQL queries? Uh, okay, that we'll see today. Now, yesterday, whatever the queries that you are writing, that you have written the code inside the code, right? Inside the code, you have written that uh, queries, right? Inside the client.xml, wherever we are, wherever we are executing of that client file means main class file let me show you that where is it yeah go to model class so go to hql test so what we did yesterday yesterday we have written the queries inside the main test file so directly we are writing the queries here right let's say if the query is like uh, uh, 50 lines is there so that all the query we can't write inside uh, wherever we are executing right or not so in that case uh, we can write that query in uh, other place and then we can utilize of that query name whatever that name we are giving for that query that name we can use here to get the data let's say for example we'll take uh, for that also okay now let's say with this uh, let's me take off or else let me go for some different query let's say assume of that uh, this is some big query i just assume that so instead of writing this query full query here okay i'll give let's say go to some place get address details okay get uh, address uh, details okay get address details uh, so i'll give this query here okay so whenever you want to execute of uh, this query whenever i want to execute of uh, this query i can use of uh, let's assume of uh, i want to execute this query to get the details of address details okay then i can utilize this name in my class in my here instead of that query i can utilize of that uh, name query name what we are giving that we can use here and then we can get the data okay how exactly that we'll see okay control z now we can use of the annotations are like uh, there are some annotations that can be used for uh, normally we can do in a hbm file also we can do all this uh, query naming and then writing of query we can do in the hbm uh, hbm file means hibernate mapping file xml file so nowadays we are not following of hbml right we have annotations here there so Hibernate given some annotations for that uh, behavior. So those annotations are uh, at uh, named queries. Uh, at uh, named queries, there are some annotations uh, they given. Let's go to the document. So Hibernate named query can be defined in Hibernate mapping files, means HBM files, uh, or through use of uh, JPA annotations. Uh, by using of annotations also we can achieve that whatever we are doing in the mapping files what are those annotations is at named queries at named query for giving of multiple queries it is a parent one at named query the child one is at named query okay next is these for hql queries if you want to use of normal sql queries which we are running in the which we are running in the sql developer here okay let's say select star from passport 2 okay this is the sql query not a hql query right so if you want to for that also there is annotations are at named native queries named native queries and native query is a sub tag okay sub annotations so by this we can add up multiple so inside that for each query we will use of this annotation now let's see go to our uh, example go to our example class now uh, where is that yeah so inside the address table we have two tables right we have two pozo classes so we have two pozo employee pozo class as well as uh, address pozo class okay so you can write these queries uh, anywhere inside the on top of pozo classes guys you can write anywhere this one so what we are doing on top of this uh, and on top of class guys uh, on top of class okay what i am doing see here this is of this one for named hql queries uh, named 
queries at uh, named queries like at entity at table is the right uh, set entity is for entities for representing that this is for at a table is for creating that name of the table okay same way at uh, named queries okay now inside this at uh, named queries is a sub tag for representing one query for representing one query i'm using of at named query inside the two parameters what is the name of the what is the name of the query okay what is the name of the query and the query is from employee okay what is the query hql get all employees normally client what is that in second yeah here what i use i have used of i have used from employee right in the create query session dot create query of from employee i have given this is returning all my employee details right so now i'm copying this query hql query inside address table address pozo class query equaled from employee i want to execute whenever i am giving off hql get all employees so you can give this name as anything guys okay but we need to use this name we need to use this name to get the data let's take off example name so i written one more class so for getting of that okay now let's see so there we used of create query for executing that query directly here for executing that query directly we are using create query but to execute of named queries the create query is not suitable so we need to execute of get named query there is a method get named query i am giving the name for the query okay hql dot all get hql get all employees so internally it will go to it will search for wherever this name is there so if it is there then it will take this query value whatever that is there and it will execute that it will replace that here okay and it will execute of there is after that only the changes in this line only guys okay instead of say create query we are calling of get named query and whatever the name that we given to that query that name we need to give here that's it now it will return of a query object from the query query dot list list means it will give all the employees that is available in that from that query and i am iterating that this is the one okay now next is now next is if you want to get the employees if you want to let's say if i want to get up some particular employee details particular employee details let's say there is a one more hql query what is that so hql get employee by id i want to get a particular employee by passing some id so in this case all employees we are getting right from employee means it will give all employee employees data but i want i am expecting of only particular employee id details by passing of id later 100 or 200 whatever the id employee id by passing that i am getting of the particular employee id details okay now for that what is the query from employee where id equal to colon id so whatever that here that variable that you are using here right so we need to pass value for this one guys we need to pass value for this okay it it's not like mandatory compulsory it's a both are required both are same both are same we can give this as anything pass id okay just assume in this case what i need to do so for the wherever i am using of this query now go to here so here we need to pass that as a for that i am passing the value as a two for that i am passing value as a two let's go and check in the whether do we have whether do we have data in the table or not okay select or from employee so let's start from employee yes we have three data is there okay now let's go to so whatever that 
in the query guys whatever the query that you are passing as a dynamic parameters uh, that we need to give as a colon and then that variable name so for that variable you need to pass the values wherever you are executing this query right so i'm taking up this one go here and uh, search for that name yes it is available so what i'm session dot get named query guys up to this uh, common guys getting up to connection this is no change hibernate little dot get session factory dot open session and begin transaction this is a common code for all in hibernate okay now so this is for passing of uh, with the dynamic values okay now let's say if you want to get the employees whose salary is based on some condition some other some other condition now let's search for this query what is the query this query is doing see so what from employee where salary is greater than some salary so let's say 100 employees is there out of 100 from 10000 to 1 lakh people are there if you want to get only the employees who are getting the salary greater than 50000 just assume that so then in that case you can pass for this salary attribute value as 50000 like how we are passing to pass id value is there right in the same way okay here id and change here also as id okay now so after that what is the value that you want to salary greater than 2000 people 200 people only you want to fetch it then it will return off query dot list there may be multiple also right not unique so but in case of above I'm expecting of where ID equal to two only that unique key result only I'm expecting. Okay. Unique result means that single result. Okay. Now this is for getting of salary employees where greater than 200. Okay. How many number is there based on that salary? It will return the result. Now this is for HQL named HQL queries guys. This is for uh, named HQL queries will get that we'll run it let's uh, come into this part and run off uh, above one taking time yeah now the query is uh, executed right now let's see now yeah, go a little bit up yeah first query is what we are doing i want to get off all the employees right what is my what is my first named query is first named query is what HQL get all employees, right? So what is there inside this? Inside this we have from employee. It is going to give off all the employees details, right? Now that's what uh, the first one come down. This is the select all employee ID name salary from the employee underscore H. Now next one. Next one is based on some ID. Based on some ID, right? I'm passing value as uh, two okay this is the query that is generated hibernate uh, select all employees details and then from address from address only guys right now let's see go to here what is that yes here we called as uh, here we called as employee address also right uh, so it is calling up address table as well guys it is calling up uh, address table also next is id yes here by passing of address employee id we are getting all the employees details as well as address details actually why it is calling of two things means why it is calling multiple queries means because we have address table is different employee table is different right or not for getting of any address details it will call the address table again okay it will call to if you are trying to if you are trying to if you get up employee details and the child table is also there 
okay relation table if you are trying to get off address then internally it will call address table to fetch the data by passing off this employee id okay that's what is happening here internally now next see it is giving off all the list of employees okay employee id and employee address both next get employee by id second one second one is get employee by id select star select all the details whatever you want where employee id equal to this one it is giving off that name and city okay next next third one is where salary is greater than 200 i said where salary is greater than 200 employees only i am expecting then in this case select star from select all the employee ID name salary from employee table where salary is greater than in this question mark place this 200 will go okay if you want you can try this queries okay if you want you can utilize these queries to get the data guys now let's instead of this change it to 200 it will return whatever the data that is returning here it will return here the record see 3 navin 300 right employee id is 3 and 300 i am expecting of only employee id and salary only right not name if you want to name then you can add off here that extra column extra value that you need to add here name emp one dot get name then it will give name as well here okay but while printing i'm using of only one only id and salary that is the reason it is printing only id and salary okay this is what uh, hql query sorry named hql queries now we'll go for uh, sql queries now these are based on name of the pozo class right but i want to execute of whatever the query that i'm using whatever the query that i'm using in the database i want to execute that query from i want to execute that query in the named query i'll give that name like how we are giving to the sql query names right in the same way i will give that sql query also as some name now let's go to the so these are hql queries that we have used by using at named query annotation right now i want to execute of sql queries okay sql not hql guys sql queries structured query language is the right so for that we need to use of at named native queries annotation okay at named native query annotation for single query i am using of at named query if it is one more is there then you can give one more here like how we are using here by giving comma okay here you can give comma and then you can add up one more also like how we are adding here now let's uh, sql get all employees all employees address only guys sql get all employees address so from this select employee id address line city zip and from address table see address underscore john table directly it will not return the result it will return the result in the form of object array that we need to convert it that we'll see now go here search for that name yes it is available let's comment of the hql named queries come down uncomment it Separate. Hey, just use this. Don't take good of multiple one set because already I have taken the reference of this one. So I commented this part right. That is the reason it is giving error below. I'm giving off a new instance name. Okay. Now no issue. 
now see so now before the the method name is get a named query here also use named query here also named query but we are passing here as a sql query okay so based on the result it in case of here it directly it is returning of all the list of whatever that is there in the pozo class names right but in this case it is returning of list of not employees list of object arrays it will return from this object array we need to pick the data for that i am writing of fun for each loop for each loop address of address object array first array i am taking okay from this array i am taking one by one all the parameters okay i employ id employ name salary all those things is there right one by one i am picking from this each row this is called one object row is called one row it contains of all the data of id name salary all those things it will be there from this row i am fetching one by one i am iterating the data now let's run it taking time yeah let's see it generated some query whatever the query that we have you say select employee id address line ct zip code from address john table okay what is there in the let's go and run this query and then you can verify that if you want run it it's giving off three records one patni center pune and zip code one patni center pune and zip code okay so it is giving see here this colon colon is there that is coming at the end for each row all this data is there so like uh, address uh, id name this uh, city and zip code so one by one from that object it is picking okay from this array object array now the next record is you can verify of all the records if you want you can debug it guys okay now next one is this is what named hql queries as well as sql queries execution okay how exactly we are going name to the queries and then how exactly we need to run the get the data by using of giving that name of that query okay that's what i have given even the project also here in the document okay same everything for hql queries okay so but while executing guys okay but while executing if you are facing of anything here error means so here if you what was the comment i did right if you are commenting this code here you will get error here because so i'm used of only one query object if the first line is you commented means then you need to queue here as a query okay and change the name of this query object because already it is a duplicated right if you are running all things once then no need to write off anything like how i have just now i did right see i commented above code right that is the reason it is giving here error so that is the reason i have added as a create new object there is no reference for this one right that's what while giving let's uncomment it for you guys oh no errors even if you are uncommenting also because i have created as a new instance for the query again okay now next come down now now it is of inheritance so what is inheritance in score java guys what is mean by inheritance guys what is mean by inheritance don't know guys are you able to hear me first hear me right
ஹலோ யூர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஹியர் மீ இஃப் யூர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஹியர் தென் வாட் இஸ் த பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் டேக்கிங் திஸ் கிளாஸ் ரைட் ஹியர் மீ ஆர் நாட் கைஸ் அனு ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஹியர் மீ பனேந்திரா தீபாலி அண்ட் சுஷ்மா ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஹியர் மீ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆர் நாட் சாரி யூர் ஹியர் மீ ரைட் ஓகே நவ் inheritance means like in the course we have discussed right inheritance is getting the super class properties into sub class right getting the super class properties into sub class will called as inheritance right the same concept uh, here also we can be applicable in case of uh, hibernate what exactly the main purpose of hibernate in the course java is reusability like let's say parent class having some properties if you are extending that class then child class also will get the properties super class properties into sub class we no need to recreate them so by extending that all super class properties will be inherited to sub class right so even the same concept we can applicable here also okay now inheritance is an object oriented feature which provides the power of reusability power of reusability means let's say for example get one class class parent i written of void m1 and i created a one more void m2 i created two methods in the parent class okay and i have created of one more sub class okay class child extend parent okay then in this case if i am i don't need to write of again let's assume i want to use of this m1 and m2 in the child class if i am extending the parent class that is enough so that means m1 and m2 methods are available to child class i no need to copy i no need to duplicate the code in the child class again correct or not so if you want any extra things then we can add in the void m3 void m3 now child class contains how many methods total this is two methods are inherited and this is one method three methods the same concept here also in the we will real main purpose of inheritance is reusability main purpose of inheritance is reusability that we will utilize here and then we will see that now the same concept of reusability is provided in hibernate as well it is one of the advantage of hibernate when compared to the jdbc in jdbc we don't have this feature okay in hibernate we have this one let's see how exactly we can achieve it assume we have a parent class okay and child classes we know that the child class object will have an access to parent class attributes right or not from child class object i can call this method or the m2 and m1 method of parent class i can access it okay now in hibernate when we save child class object when we save child class object parent class attributes also will be saved in the database let's say i have some properties is just assume instead of methods instead of methods let's take off some details okay what let's say person i am taking of one example what we are discussing i am taking so person contains what is the properties a compulsory private private string name right name is one of the property and string gender just as a male or female this two are any person contains right whether uh, gender male or female compulsory name and gender is required so let's say here in the child class let's say is a employee let's assume employee each employee contains name and gender so along with that if it is a employee means then he will get of salary right date of joining bonus 
email all those things will be there right now let's say let's remove this what is that uh, date of joining okay email bonus and salary will be there for employee right em employee let's say if it is a student student also contains name and gender right class student extend of person right extend of person here guys not parent now so every student contains what details after the student name and gender what is the class okay what is the which class which standard right which standard the student is that is one thing right along with that what is the school fee okay what is the school name sch school name school name and fees correct or not these details are what is the standard so third standard second standard like that what these are related to student details so instead of again if normally if without inheritance then every class should add those name and gender right or not but in this case i am utilizing of i am utilizing of super class that is person class details into subclass employee class instead of making the duplicate of those name and gender here okay now let's see there are some multiple types of inheritances available in hibernate what are those those are one is first one is table per hierarchy table per hierarchy means what exactly table for hierarchy we'll see let's say <clears throat> how many we have here how many tables we have how many classes we have person class employee class student class three classes is there right student three classes there so table for hierarchy means it will create a single table it will create a single table to maintain the person details employee details student details with all the details we can maintain a single table that is what table per hierarchy hierarchy means for entire hierarchy for super class for sub class for child class for all we are maintaining as a, a single table okay that is what uh, table per hierarchy now let's take off uh, example for that the name itself uh, yeah see yeah the name suggests uh, the entire hierarchy is mapped into a single table the name suggests the entire hierarchy means parent class subclass means child class so all will contains both are contain data in the single table okay all attributes of all attributes of all attributes of the all the classes are stored in a single table okay how exactly we can achieve that let's see a discriminator column is used to distinguish the different class let's say if i want to save a person class then to differentiate whether it is a person or employee or student okay now if you want to differentiate that which class object that we are storing in the database we will use a discriminator column in the database we will create one extra column along with all the details that we are giving let's say a table contains name gender date of joining email bonus and salary and school name and school fees okay along with all these details in a single table we will add one more column that is called as a discriminator column that will differentiate that whether there is a record is of type person or employee or student okay now let's see let's say if you are storing of if you are storing employee details student related details will be null for those columns okay if you are entering student record then employee related related columns will be null for the student student record okay now let's see yeah in this table i'm giving up this screenshot guys i will give this project also okay table per hierarchy project close all so you can identify what i'll give the workspace right from that project you need to import that i will show you today yesterday someone asked of they're unable to import the project okay now table per hierarchy let's open this 
I'm creating of uh, let's say I created one class. So up to these two annotations, you people know at the entity for creating of this is like it is an entity class or database entity class. Next at a table, I have created a table called person table. Okay, let's say if person table is already there, then we'll delete it. Let's go to create a new one. Select star from. Yes, we have data is there. So drop table person delete it. Now commit it. No table, no person table now. Now after that, we are using of inheritance, right? We are using inheritance. What type of inheritance that we are using here? Single table means table per hierarchy. For the entire hierarchy, I want to use of a single table. In the table per hierarchy means it is of inheritance type. It will give three things: joined single table, table per subclass. So I'm using a single table for entire all the classes parent class child class for all of them i want to use of a single table then we need to use of inheritance type inherit at inheritance strategy which strategy strategy you want to apply for this uh, project okay now inheritance type dot single table okay next these two are for differentiating the whether you are inserting a person or whether you are inserting student or whether you are inserting employee for differentiating that i'm using a form at a discriminator column at a discriminator column or new column i want to add in the database for differentiating the which type of record that we are inserting into database okay now that is what the name of the column is record type okay whether it's a person or now discriminator type is string the value for that column is a string type that's what discriminator type discriminator type dot string value it will accept that column now what is the value for that when i'm inserting person table when i'm inserting person record what is the value that i i should insert into this record type column is a person just assume of person type just let it be person type only okay or else keep it as p okay p means person okay from the next table go to employee table so even in this case also at entity at a table is this anyhow we don't we will not create one more table in this case guys leave it this one and the discriminator value when i'm inserting of when i'm inserting employee record okay it is extending of person okay now value for this when i'm inserting employee record the value of discriminator column is employee just assume let it be employee okay what is the properties of employee class is salary at the column is salary these are the properties date of joining and department name and bonus and email i'm giving some details okay this is for employee let's say if i'm inserting of student okay student also at the entity at the table is uh, this common but even though it won't create table let it be discriminator when i'm inserting of student record uh, the value of discriminator column record type is uh, student okay now what are the features of student what are the properties of student is uh, school name okay next to fees anything else uh, section okay school name fee and section which standard okay <clears throat> now these are the Pojo classes that we have configured. Okay. Now let's create a. Four. So, guys, the other thing is common. What is the other things means? Go to Ibernet configuration file is uh, there is no changes in this file, guys. All are same. The except thing is here, whatever the Pojo classes that we are adding, that we need to add here. Okay. Without that, it won't create. So, employee is created, person is created, student is created. That POJO classes we need to add here. Okay. Rest of these things is common, no changes in this. Now, go back. Employee student is created, POJO class is created with inheritance type, single type, and employee class 
is also created POSO class and the discriminator value is while inserting EMP for student it is of a student that we have created. Now let's create the data and then insert it. I've created one client class. I've created of one client class. So what I'm doing first, I'm getting a one session. This is common thing. This is of a common class for getting of connection by using of build connect configuration dot configure of build session factory before we are doing of multiple lines of code right instead of that i have common code i written a separate util class from this i am getting that instead of writing multiple lines of code just i am writing in a single line here now first i am creating person class first i am creating person class person class contains what are the properties id name gender so in the id primary key what i am doing generation type equal to auto i am giving that means that hibernate automatically it will generate i am telling to hibernate so i will not give any id value you generate and then assign that value to this object okay the first value i will not assign so only name and gender is assigned ram and male first object just assume okay now next is employee employee means employee also need of name and gender right so along with this, he has another properties. Let's have created of employee object. Now employee bonus, department, date of joining, email, name, salary, gender. All these properties that I have added. Okay. But the employee class is extended person. So person details, whatever that is there, all that will be inherited to employee class. So but in this case, name and gender is not in this case. In this class, those are extending from person table person class now after that let's create a student also even student name gender okay let's add first this one these are properties from person class right now these are from employee class now next i created a student student name student gender fees school name and section okay now after this save of person object save of employee object save of student object session dot begin transaction and then save all of them these are the methods session contains all the session session save or update methods all methods is available guys okay now i am saving of all my pozo class objects now save all of them and then commit it means commit means saved permanently in the database commit means now let's run it See, it is saying illegal use of attribute table in the subclass for single type. We no need to use of that, but I have given. That is not required. Yeah, see, a single table is created. What is the table name? Person table. Single table is created. What is the record type? ID, gender, name, bonus. This is These three are person properties next to bonus department name date of joining email salary these are employee related properties fee school name section these are student related properties all are created under the same table all are created under same table next those are constant leave it about them and for each record we need to create of one primary key right for each for each record we need some ids so those ids hibernate internally to create one sequence yesterday that we have seen this is hibernate sequence it will create one value it will give one id value this will give one more this will give another because we are inserting person employee student three ids is required so that is the reason three times it is executed the sequence for giving of three different id values next next is person table first is person we are inserted gender name that we have given record type what we have given for person type we have given as a p right discriminator column as p i have given right that's what 
for person it is inserted. Next ID is generated one. Next the same way for same way for other employee and student. Inserting into person details and student. Gender name, fee, school name, section and record type and ID. For other details, for employee related details while inserting into student record, those will as null guys. Okay. Now, while inserting employee details, see, gender name, bonus, department name, date of joining, email, salary, record type and ID. So, while inserting employee record, the fee, school name and section is will go as null values. It will insert in the database. So now, let's go and check in the database. See, the record type is P. P contains person. ID, gender, name. The rest of all fields are null. Okay. Now, next student. Student contains record type is student. ID, 3. Gender is female. Name is Shruti. Bonus, department name, date of joining, email, salary. These are related to employee. So, because of that, those are null. So, student fee is 20. Date of school name, DPS. And section is 12th standard. Same way for employee record type is employee so record type is employee there then those are all employees guys okay now employee id gender male name the page bonus department name department date of joining email salary these are employee details so other columns also there in the table what is your fee school and section those are null for employees see those are we are not inserted those will go as a null okay this is what single table okay now if you are searching for others also those will not have if you are searching for a student a student underscore table let's search it you won't create it let's see whether it is created or not it's not there okay it is it is saying it is useless in the log we have seen right even though if it is not there also no issue the table are viewed does not is only single table is created for a entire hierarchy this is what a table per hierarchy type okay so any Clarification required, guys. If not, if anything is required, just ask me. I'll repeat it. Clear means? Then move to next one. What is the next one? Table per concrete class. Now come down. Table per concrete class. Where that table per concrete class? Yeah, now table for a concrete class. Now let's uh, see this. So, what is the difference between table for uh, hierarchy and table for classes? In case of table for hierarchy, single table will create, but in case of table for concrete class, it will create for each concrete class, it will create a separate table. For each concrete class, it will create a separate table. Now, let's see. So, for you, one table for each concrete class will be created. Now, let's see what is that meaning of that. Code everything is same as per hierarchy project except the below highlighted changes. Now, let's see. Project is different, guys. Okay. But in this, I am differentiating that. In the person table, in the person table, close it. Close all table per class. This one project. If you want doubt, then you can see that. I'll give off a one screenshot here, guys, or else I will attach the project under this here. Okay, no worries. Now, next to table per class, let's see. Go to the model person. So, all changes is we need to do in the model class only, guys. Okay, inheritance type means okay. Now let's clear it. Entity that we know. 
okay and table equal to to differentiate that already we created person table there right so while using of table per concrete class just i'm changing the name, table name as a person underscore tpc table per class okay now inheritance type before we used at inheritance strategy equal to inheritance type dot single table that we have used for a table for hierarchy in this case i'm using of table per class type inheritance type okay now person id is generated one that we know that name and gender these are the three properties next go to employee extension is common extending person entity is same at a table i am giving for employee table i am giving as employee underscore tpc table per class for employee class okay let's say if i want to use of student if i'm using of student then student underscore tpc i have created it will create of how many tables it will create let's see that the change is there is no other change guys only the change that i have done is added inheritance type is table per class and tables are modified for this new project to identify of table per class tables related so i'm used of different tables for this project okay now let's go to and no changes in the resources guys it means hibernate properties no changes here is no change all are same okay only the change is this one and the table names for each pozo class go to now let's see whether do we have table per tpc person table you have data now drop it drop table table name is dropped now next check in the student do we have any table yeah it is there just drop it one more employee table it is there drop it okay now clear it now now go to our client class where we are inserting the data so get the session object and create one person create one person object which one is client per yeah so create one person object create one employee object create one student object this is no change guys previous we created right same data we can create three objects now save of three objects let's see how exactly it is going to create the tables before only one table is created guys now let's see how many tables it will create this time let's see now let's see hmm. employee table per class is created its own id gender name the gender and name is from person table right so instead of uh, uh, person table separate it has its own table its, its properties even we are extending employee class uh, extending person right those pro with those properties it is creating a separate class okay person has one table and uh, employee has one table and student has one table all are separate separate tables will create that's what table per concrete class okay for each concrete class it will create one table employee table is separate person table is separate student table is separate so all the details while inserting also the respective details will be 
respective student details will be into student table person only details person table employee related only all the details okay it will be in employee table now let's see it three new ids okay by using sequences first is let's see person person underscore tp it is under entered gender name id into person table okay now employee student student is inserted one record with gender name fee school name section id with all the details it is created one record in the student table and with sorry with employee also employee underscore tpc one more table is created to insert of all the employee details okay gender name bonus department name date of joining email salary and id now let's see all these three tables now let's see employee table see employee table has its own details now go to employee what are the details of employee we have inserted see suresh right it is a suresh gender male bonus is 23000 bonus is 23000 department is hr and joining date is december 2016 okay email and salary is of 70000 okay so id is also all the details it is adding into its own table okay now let's see for employee sorry for employee contains only three right it contains of only three record three columns now select the star from see id name gender that's what we are inserted in our client class id is generated one name is joji female now next is student student also has its own table with the two store of student name student gender and id school name fee and section id female gender gender is female name is puja and 30,000 DPS third standard. Same details that we have inserted here. Okay. For each concrete class, for each class, it is creating one table, guys. That's what the meaning here. Okay. But before, for all for all the classes, it is created a single table. Okay. Now next, this is what table per concrete class. Okay now next table per subclass table per subclass now let's come down table per subclass yeah now go a little bit up table per subclass what exactly is the table per subclass will create the tables will create the tables means <clears throat> In this inheritance type, each subclass table will have the each subclass table will have the subclass specific properties, subclass specific attributes only. Now it will create sub table. It will create table, but whatever the properties that are child class having, it will create in the child class. Whatever the parent class having some properties, it will store in the parent class. But there is some relation between the parent class and child class by giving of uh, some foreign key. Okay. Now, how exactly this details is related to this person? Person name and gender is there. Those person name and gender will be stored in the person table. And rest of employee, each person employee also contains name and gender. The gender and name is stored in the person table. And the rest of bonus, date of joining, salaries, bo rest of things will be stored in the employee table. Okay. We will see how exactly table per subclass means. For each class, it will create. For each class, it will create one one table. We will see that. Let me. Subclass tables will have foreign key associations. So how exactly it is association with the super class. With super class are parent table. Means by using of one id in the super class will call it as a that is a primary key in the subclass will call it as a foreign key okay in the child table so there will not be any duplicate columns in the subclass table subclass table so 
in this case where is that in this case each table contains gender and name right each table contains gender and name it is a duplicate right columns so but in this case it will not be like that okay now let's see so between the parent and child class tables between the parent and so so parent table and the child table will give the relationship by using a foreign key okay now let's see the project table per subclass project if you are seeing project then you will come to know close all table per subclass project did go to model class go to person so before what we are given so entity is common table also we given table person underscore table per class tps you have given right now table per subclass or table per sub class i have given person underscore tpsc okay now what is the inheritance that we are using in this case so before we are using single table one and table per class we have seen table per concrete class that we have seen but now in this case we are not maintaining of duplicate columns in the tables for that we are using of inheritance type dot join we are joining the tables between by using a foreign key okay so now we are using here as inheritance type is joined okay inheritance type we are using as a joined that is only the change these two guys that their name of the table is changing and inheritance type is changed okay now let's see the remaining two is only remaining two yeah here so to keep the relation between parent table and child table we need of some primary key in the parent table it is a primary key in the sub table we will call it as a foreign key that we are using of at the primary key join column on what basis we can join those two tables means by using a id by using id so id is from this table okay so the same id will be stored inside the student table as well as a employee table both to differentiate the name and id name and gender of employee is stored in the person table and rest of the details will be stored in the employee table now same way for student also student underscore it will create separate table and but it will maintain of student id and name will be stored in the person table okay those how to give relation between the student table and the person table by using a id that's what by using at primary key join column annotation okay now let's go to let's go to client the data is setting is same guys no change okay now what i am doing getting off session object and then i have created of i have created employee object and then student object now employee contains name and gender student contains name and gender right now these two employee name and gender will be stored in the person table and the student name and gender will be stored in the person table and the student specific details will be stored in the student table and the employee specific details will be stored in the employee table so between the person table and employee table and person table and student table will be relation will be maintained by using a primary key that let's see that the magic is happening only on this inheritance type only guys okay it will do the magic now let's see how many tables it is created employee underscore tps table is created table per subclass but this is created with no name and no gender is not there in this table see bonus department name date of joining email salary and primary key is there okay that is coming from person table okay now in the person table in the person table id name gender and primary key but this id will be used in this table okay now again student table student table 
student related name and gender will be stored in percent table and rest of the fee school name section all these things will be stored in the student table related now open up go here what is this percent table percent table contains two record did i insert a person record no right i have not specifically inserted any person record here only employee and student is created right so but employee class is extending of person class okay what are the properties of person id name gender right so whatever those properties of person will be stored in the person table here id gender name is stored in the person table and whatever this id is here right this id will be used in the student table yes student id one name is puja and gender is female and the rest of other details is school section fee details will be stored in the student table now go to yeah now see fee dps school name and section is third standard id is one id is one now in this case wherever that id was from where it is coming id id is from now let's say yes yes comma this is your for p just assume where p dot id equal to yes dot id if both are same means math means it will give off c what it is giving student fee student name section id and gender name all are coming okay now in the same way the relationship we are giving by using id between those two table parent table and child table in the same way for employee also is same employee underscore dpsc comma e here also it contains only employee related details bonus department name date of joining email and salary and id is to where is the name and gender the name and gender is available in the person table person underscore dpsc so here id is to is there now here it will go to this table it will check the two employee id gender is male name is suresh it will get that by using a join okay that is what this one it is of inheritance guys it is of entirely mapping okay how exactly it is going to create the tables it will be internally it is doing up all the table creation magics okay now go to next one is that next this is common code that's not required no changes yeah now cascading now cascading uh can we continue guys or we will continue tomorrow okay let's take this one tomorrow guys okay tomorrow i will finish this one okay that's what for today's class guys we'll see tomorrow thank you so yesterday uh, someone asked of that how to import that right let me show you that you got it yes yes thank you and fine